Morning. Correct. Hey y'all, Scott here, and I love Super Smash Brothers so much I could scream. <laughs> Hey Scott, it's your old pal the never be in Smash fighter recruiter John here, and guess what? You're a fighter that will never be in Smash! You're invited to the battle! Hey all, Dex is here, and yup, that's right! Scott Wozniak, the character from the Scott the Woz series, not the real Scott Wozniak that produces and directs the videos, is another character that will never be in Smash. The white guy that has talked about stupid Nintendo games for hours, now has a Smash moveset to fight characters from stupid Nintendo games in a stupid Nintendo game. Scott has two jumps and can just barely crouch. Scott can't wall jump, wall cling, or crawl. Scott enters the stage by standing in front of his desk and doing the iconic intro to his videos. He waves his hand and goes, hey all. After that, he enters his battle stance and the desk disappears. Scott's jab is a simple 1-2 punch kick attack, this move being from the fitness games episode. This attack is made if you make two consecutive jabs with space between each button press. His multi-jab is also from fitness games, this time it being a punch-punch elbow attack. The multi-jab is triggered if you immediately press the attack button after the first jab. His side tilt is a strong but kinda weak push. This move does very little damage, but has a very high knockback, and originates from the A Madden 08 Christmas episode. For his up tilt, Scott uses what I dubbed the Peptobis Sword from the Borderline Forever episode, and swings it upwards. For his down tilt, Scott smashes a Shia Pept right before his feet. And Scott's dash attack is a low kick from the episodes Fixing the Worst Game Trailers and A Vargan Bin Christmas. For his neutral air, he rides the opponent as if it were an A3, and slaps his knee. You can do this move consecutively up to 5 times, with the 5th slap being the strongest. In his forward air, Scott uses his trusty frying pan from the episode The Best Games of All Time, and slaps the opponent as if it were a 7 out of 10 game. In his back air, he plays with a pedal ball backwards, just like he did in the Super Mario Kart episode. Scott hasn't learned from his mistakes though, and slightly hurts himself when doing this attack. For his up air, he swings upwards the swatter used to accidentally kill Rango the Fly from the Death of a Franchise episode. And for his down air, Scott does a durability test on the opponent and swings a hammer downwards, just like how he did to the Ouya in the Micro Consoles episode. This move can spike if sweet spotted. For the side smash, Scott is lucky to be diagnosed with a little thing he likes to call street smarts, and throws a baseball bat forwards, just like how he did to the Polybius arcade in the episode Polybius. For the up smash, Scott uses his Peptobis small bottle and opens it, this launching the medicine upwards, just like it did in the Borderline Forever episode. And for the down smash, Scott puts the opponent under the do you immediately turn the TV off when somebody walks in test from the episode anime games, and swings his baseball bat downwards. Scott grabs the opponent with the help of the blue border. The border grabs the opponent just like how it grabbed Scott's friends in the episode Borderline Forever. Scott pummels the opponent by hitting them with a hammer just like how he did in the game consoles that refused to die episode. In his forward throw, Scott pulls back the opponent and swings them forwards. While he's pulling them back, trailer Fixatron from the episode Fixing the Worst Game Trailers pops up in front of him. Scott then throws the opponent into the machine and slaps the door of it shut. By closing the door, the machine breaks and launches the opponent. For the up throw, Scott gets strength out of nowhere and does the same attack the chaperone in the episode Homecoming did to break the DJ's trusty laptop. 
For his back throw, he throws the opponent behind him with the same strength he threw the game on the E3 2017 episode, and then follows it up by passing an iron through a durability test from the Tech Demos episode by throwing the iron at the opponent, this launching them backwards. And for the down throw, Scott expresses his opinion on the fighter, claiming that it blows, and once again with cartoon strength, picks up the opponent on top of his head and throws them diagonally downwards, right to where a toilet appears. Once the opponent hits the toilet, it breaks, this giving the opponent its damage. This being a reference to the Shibirobo Sip Lash running gag throughout the Scott the Wash series. For Scott's neutral special, he uses a copy of the iconic Madden 08 game and throws it forwards. The copy then explodes if it hits an opponent. This being taken from the episodes Borderline Forever and, obviously, it's Awesome Baby. Scott's side special is the same move he used to defeat the Anti-Gex in the Shibi Robo Sip Lash Darkest Age of Nintendo episode. He slaps the case of Gex forwards really hard. The attack first stuns the opponent and then launches them with a lot of strength and a lot of damage. The attack has a bit of start lag, that being when Scott is looking for the game cart in his pocket. Scott's up special is the Wii U throw, inspired from the scene that started it all. This move also takes inspiration from one of the small animations in the episode It's a Broken Bing Christmas. Scott spins around while holding a Wii U box and then throws it downwards. Spinning around with the box slowly propels Scott upwards, and then he gains height when he throws the box. If the move is done in the ground, Scott will not be propelled up during the spin, and will throw the Wii U box forwards. The Wii U's box causes massive damage, since it has a Wii U in it. And the move can be done a total of 7 times per stock. That's because Scott is a proud owner of 7 Wii U's, and he brought them all to the battlefield of Super Smash Bros. Once he runs out of the Wii U's, he'll just throw a random game box or controller down without spinning first. This will launch Scott just a bit upwards, and the item will do as much damage as a regular thrown item. The game box or controller also work as items, so they can be grabbed and thrown back by other opponents. Scott's down special is simple. You ever hear of the Madden Curse? If you have, then that's a down special. Scott holds a piece of paper with the word Madden written on it and it slaps it forwards with all of his strength. If he hits the opponent with this move, a random damaging effect will be applied to the hit opponent. This move also works as a counter. Scott Wozniak's Final Smash is a combination of moments from Scott the Woz episodes. Scott first swings his arms from front to back, launching a bunch of Wii games forwards, just like how he did in the Borderline Forever episode. If an opponent is hit, they will be sent to a cinematic Final Smash. Before the cinematic, if the opponent gets hit, the camera zooms into Scott, who throws a copy of Madden 08 down to his feet, where a ball of that goo that turns games into cyborgs I was talking about appears. After this quick animation, the cinematic Final Smash begins, and we see Scott, piloting the Madden 08 Cyborg, jump into the air. After this, the Cyborg does quick rapid punches just like the ones his mech from the anime games episodes did, this time to the opponent. Scott then presses a button inside of the Cyborg, and it charges up and sends a big laser beam at the opponent. This being a reference to the Wii game ship from the Borderline Forever episode, where the ship sends a big laser. This ending the final smash. Scott's side taunt is the iconic Hey Y'all wave. His up taunt is what fans have dubbed the O face, which he does in multiple videos. And his down taunt is the silly shrug he does in the Micro Consoles episode. In the first victory animation, he is seen sitting on his desk, and then turns around and does the iconic wave. 
In his second Victor animation, he is once again sitting in his desk, this time eating cereal, like how he did on a pornographic website in the episode Breath of the Wild is Imperfect, and then stops to do the thumbs up pose he did in the Nintendo Switch Presentation 2017 episode. And in his third Victor animation, he is holding Shibi Robo Sip Lash while next to a toilet and throws the game to the toilet, celebrating his victory by letting the world know that this game blows. The stage Scott brings is, of course, his iconic desk. As a small bonus, this stage always has a blue border around the screen. It doesn't really affect anything, it's just there annoying you. Scott's first alt is the blue shirt he is seen wearing in many of his episodes, and in his third most viewed episode, Console Redesigns. His second alt is the maroon and the black hoodie he is seen wearing in many of his videos, including his most viewed video, Game Controllers and other special episodes like It's Awesome Baby or in the thumbnail of the Best of Scott the Wasp 2018. His third alt is the gray hoodie he is seen wearing in many of his videos, including his second most viewed video, New Super Mario Bros. What's New is Old, and also in the thumbnail of the Best of Scott the Wasp 2017. His fourth alt is the red sweater he is seen wearing in many of his videos, including the thumbnail of the We Work Chronicles and of the Best of Scott the Wasp 2019. His fifth alt is the black shirt he is seen wearing in many of his videos, including many of his special episodes like Borderline Forever, Homecoming, You're Not an RPG Guy, etc. His sixth alt is the suit and tie he wears in his Shutterstock pictures, old profile picture and channel banner, and in a couple of episodes like Great Mysteries of Gaming and The Trial. His seventh alt is the costume he wears in the Guy Game episode and in the song from Borderline Forever. And finally, his eighth alt is a Abraham Ethernet costume from the Internet and You. When Kirby copies Scott Wozniak's ability, he turns into a white guy and has Scott's hair and glasses. And that's what Scott Wozniak from the Scott the Woz YouTube series would bring if he wasn't Smash. Scott the Woz is my favorite YouTuber, so I just had to make a moveset for the guy. This is the only content creator I could think of that could be giving a Smash moveset in the first place. The guy has too many funny skits and recurring jokes that this was way too easy and fun for me to make. Plus, he's the only content creator I could actually manage to binge watch before going insane. To make this moveset, I watched every single Scott the Wasp episode from Season 1 to Season 3, and the specials from Season 4. I wanted to watch every single episode, but time is a bitch. That's why the moveset mostly consists of attacks made in the older videos. Making this video was an absolute blast and made me gain even more respect and appreciation towards Scott. Scott, if you're watching this, stay awesome, baby. And same goes to everyone else watching. With this, I end this video. Have a great day. Goodbye.